Hi right, Paul, uh, well, in, well into the year by now, uh, two league games played and the third one on the way. Uh, how are you set for the, the Westmead game now in Mullingar? Uh, yeah, I suppose the uh, third game in now and we've three from four points and going to Mullingar this Sunday now. I think we have a good chance, yeah. Um, I thought the last day we were a bit disappointed that we didn't take the two points. So we, we kind of played at times, we played very good for 10 to 15 minute spells. and then. But uh, hopefully this week we get a better performance and... Hopefully, pick up two points. There's a there's a good old buzz around the county with the, with the two new managers and and two fairly uh, young new teams as well. Does the footballers feel that in the camp as well? Uh, well, yeah, I suppose when you're winning, it's you know it's always a lot easier to train and the mood is a lot better. And so far, it's been going well for us. And there's a lot of new young lads in, and they're fine footballers, a lot of them, and it's going it's going great so far. So happy out. Uh, wh wh what would you be your, wh wh what would you be your goals now for the year for the year ahead? Would you be um, just kind um, of contemplate on staying for Division One for this year, or have you any other goals in mind yourself personally? Um, well, I suppose you'd be you'd be looking all the time to to push on, and I suppose come to maybe be in the first few in Division Two and maybe push for promotion after the after the start of the league. That's what you'd be looking for, you know. Maybe before the league, you don't know what to expect, but so far it's been so doing yeah, going good. So I mean, hopefully, be no harm in thinking of promotion. So um, we were just talking to Mulholland there, and there's a few few lads back from from injury as well. Um, Porra Joyce is back, and, and and Armstrong is back. So the squad is getting bigger now, and, and definitely, yeah. I mean, uh, I suppose Porra and Sean, they're they've been just training there the last uh, week or two now, so they're back. They've been nearly a full fitness yet, yeah, uh, nearly a full fitness, and there's a few other lads come back from injury, like Connor Doherty's back, and Michal Boyle is nearly back, and Gary Sweeney and them lads. So it's good. It helps the competition for places, and it improves everyone in the long run. And go back to your to your club, um, back training with the club now, and, and championship coming on the way. So it's it's all it's all guns blaring for St James and Noggin for the year. Yeah, I suppose uh, the league games will be starting soon now with the club, and uh, hopefully now we'll I suppose train away. Every club will be training hard this time of year and doing a lot of running and stuff, and we'll see now in the first first couple of league games you kind of see how you're shaping up. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a good year.